And for you today, I have the richest, the richest, <laughs> the richest brownies. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lou, the Dessert Obsessed Baker here at Crumbs and Corkscrews. And today for you, I have the richest, the gooeyest, the most divine chocolate brownies you are ever going to make. These are Kinder Bueno brownies. And when I say they are stuffed full of Kinder, I really mean it. There is chunks of Kinder chocolate in there and great big chunks of Bueno pieces filled with that Kinder hazelnut filling. I know you're just gonna absolutely love these. You guys have been going mad at the moment on the blog for brownies. There's all sorts on there and I'll link to some up here or you'll find them down below in the description box. But you've got Rolo stuffed brownies with pieces of chocolate and caramel through it. You'll also find Jaffa cake brownies that have got whole Jaffa cakes in them and it's just perfect with that orange jelly in there and the sponge and, and more chocolate. You'll love them. And you'll also find some blondies. There's, there's my favourite, the Retro-tastic Party Ring Blondie and also a Custard Cream Blondie as well. I know you guys are just going to go mad for all of them. So grab the links from up here or down in the description box and go and check that out. But let me tell you about these Kinder Bueno brownies. They're super easy to prepare, about 15 minutes and 30 minutes in the oven, and you've got the most amazing brownies you can make. So let's get going. I'm gonna show you what ingredients you need. I'm gonna talk you through the recipe, and I'll see you at the end of this with my top tips for the best brownies ever. So first up, these are the ingredients you're gonna need. 200 grams of butter. Now I'm using unsalted butter here and you can add a little pinch of salt as well. Or if you prefer, you can use a slightly salted butter instead. You're then gonna need 200 grams of dark chocolate. I'm using a 40 to 50% chocolate here, just a regular dark chocolate. If you prefer a more bitter chocolate, then go for 70% cocoa. We've got four eggs and these need to be at room temperature. We've got 120 grams of plain or all-purpose flour and 50 grams of a regular cocoa powder. Not drinking chocolate, that's what extra sugar in it. Use a regular cocoa powder. We've also got a vanilla extract. We're going to use a teaspoon of that. And of course, we've got our Kinder Bueno and some Kinder chocolate bars as well. So let's get into the recipe. First up, take the chocolate and add the butter, then pop them in the microwave in 30 second blast until everything is melted together. And once they're melted together, let the chocolate mixture cool down. In the meantime, grab a large mixing bowl and add your caster sugar and your egg yolk. Whisk these with a hand mixer, or you can use a stand mixer until they're thick, and pale and fluffy. And they'll probably have doubled or tripled in size. Once they're all whisked up, Grab the cooled down chocolate mixture and add this into the egg mix. And then with a rubber spatula, gently fold through until the mixture is well combined and all chocolate in colour. Next up, grab a sieve and your plain flour and your cocoa powder and sift this all together into the chocolate egg mixture. This helps incorporate air into the batter as we're not using any additional raising agents. And again, with your rubber spatula, fold everything together. Make sure you get the bottom of the bowl and there's no excess flour stuck there at the bottom. Pop this to one side and then grab your Kinder Bueno and your Kinder Chocolate and break everything into chunks. So once you've done that, pop your mixture to one side and grab your baking pan. Now I'm using a nine by nine square cake tin here. You can also use a brownie pan or a tray bake pan if you prefer and I've lined it with two pieces of baking parchment that overhang the sides of the pan. It means that once the brownie is cooled, I can lift it out a lot easier than trying to force it out by pushing up the bottom. Trust me, line your pan and it makes your brownies Pour half the brownie mixture into the lined baking pan and then with an angled spatula or you can use the batter spoon, Spread this out into all corners until it's level. Then take your bueno pieces and you can scatter these over or just pop them in um, the brownie batter. 
Then pour the remaining brownie batter on top of the layer of bueno and carefully with your spoon or your angled spatula, spread this over again so it's nice and level. Then take your Kinder chocolate chunk and again, scatter these over the top or if you want to, place them in a grid, just like me. And then they're ready to bake. Pop them into a preheated oven at 180 degrees C or 350 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. How cool are those? See, I told you you were gonna love them. And I melted some of the leftover Kinder chocolate and drizzled it all over those at the end as well, for that extra chocolate kit. See, they are just really, really simple. Now, there's a few top tips if you're making brownies that you really need to know, and it will make sure you get the best brownies every time. And number one, you need to use room temperature eggs. Can't stress that enough. By having them at room temperature, it makes them really easy and to whisk up, and makes them nice and light and frothy. And that helps us put air into our brownies, which makes them sort of nice and light and not dense and heavy. We're not using any additional raisin anything, so the eggs are going to do the work there. If you haven't got them out of the fridge beforehand, just pop them in a bowl of warm tap water for about 10 minutes before you start to whisk them. Obviously they need to be in the shelves and that will help bring them up to room temperature and they'll just be so much more easier to whisk and incorporate that air into our brown batter. Number two, you want to use a caster sugar or a super fine sugar or even maybe a soft brown sugar like a light muscovado and that will make sure that your brownies stay really moist and fudgy. Using a granulated sugar, those sugar crystals are too hard and it's going to form more of a cake-like texture and our top of our brown is more likely to crumble and crack as well. So go with a super fine or a cast of sugar or even a soft brown sugar instead and you'll get perfect results. Number three is all about cooking time. Now you want to bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes. You don't want to go any further. If, if we do, we're going to end up with more cakey texture brownies. So after about 25 to 30 minutes, test your brownies with a cocktail stick or a skewer and go in one inch from the edge. It should come out clean and maybe with a few crumbs of brownie on it, but it doesn't want to come out with raw batter. If you test the middle, you are going to find that that still isn't cooked, but don't worry, it will do as it cools down and it will give us that really fudgy brownie texture that we're looking for. And finally, number four. Now this is all about making sure we cool the brownies down properly. Now I know when you take them out of the oven, they're gonna smell amazing and you're gonna wanna get straight in there. But remember, that center isn't cooked properly yet. So if we try and cut it now, it'll all just fall apart and melt into a big gooey chocolatey mess. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but we want our brownies to cook into lovely pieces that don't fall apart. So leave them to completely cool in the pan before you lift them out. And then once you've done that, pop them onto a wire cooling rack, still in the baking apartment, and let them cool completely. Then you can cut them up. And if you want those clean lines when you put, pop them in the fridge for about half an hour just to fill them. And then with a long, sharp knife, just cut them into the pieces. And then you'll have the perfect brown slice. So then guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you've tried these, if Kinder Bueno brownies are the brownies that are really gonna float your boat, they're the best brownies ever for you. Or let me know what you like to put in your brownies instead. Once you've mastered the basic recipe for brownie, there's quite a lot you can do with that. So let me know what you think and you like to put in your brownies in the comments box below. And whilst you're there, don't forget, if you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and you can always hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and that will let you know next time I post a video or I go live. We have mission live videos coming in the summer, so if you haven't seen them already, go and check them out on the channel. There's a playlist link above and there's loads and loads of recipes and top tips out there as well. But in the meantime, I hope you guys, wherever you are in the world, are safe and well. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.